I'm looking forward to today. We've got some cool things planned. Um, waiting right now for... There she is. All right, so this is Sophia. Hi. Sophia is hooking me up with a ride today. She's got a Jeep Cherokee, which is such a sweet car. I used to, I used to drive a Jeep, Jeep Cherokee. I now drive a Prius. Ha! <laughs> Gay! Yeah, I know. So we made it. Um, unfortunately, that's the closest we could get to the sign. They've uh, shut off all the trails around it because. Worth it. It's kind of just in the Hollywood Hills right now. He's just like, what is this poor person doing in my neighborhood? So, we've got a couple of hours before tonight. Um, gonna be checking out the sort of a downtown Hollywood area. Uh, tonight, something incredible is happening. Um, Super excited about it. I'm Italian, where are you from? You're from Thailand? Italy. Do you say you're climbing up? Yeah. Well, not climbing, walking. Yeah. I know you could get up there. I thought they uh, shut it off. That's what I was told. There's a panoramic point of view up there somewhere. I don't know how, but True. we're gonna try. Okay. Um, okay, so still got Hollywood here. Uh, guys, it's about to be. So right now I'm on a gap year, which means that I'm somewhere in between high school and college. I graduated high school in November last year and plan to be going to college in the fall. I'm staying in Southern California at the moment with an amazing family that leads a church called the Southlands. I'm interning at the Southlands at the moment. I've been here for about two weeks and here for about another week and a bit. So after these two weeks, I'll be heading back to Washington DC, which is where I'm based, uh, it's where my family's living, uh, it's where my two younger brothers are going to school, and it's where I'll be going to college. So about five months ago, my family and I moved from Johannesburg, South Africa to Washington DC. So that's where I'm from, I'm South African. If you're American and watching this, you probably thought that I was from Australia or England or or just, or just from, maybe you thought it was all the same thing. For many of you Americans out there, this is a big moment. So if you're from Africa, why are you white? Oh my God, Karen, you can't just ask people why they're white. There are many of us, and it's just the funniest thing. People just generally don't have any idea about what South Africa is. They finally like know, it. when I tell them it's South Africa, they still don't have a clue. I've told people like, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm South African. And they're like, yeah, no way, so I, have a, I have a cousin in, in Wales. There are genuinely people that, have, that think that South Africa is in Europe. And I, I just, I don't even, I mean, there's a clue in the name. Anyway, anyway, that's where I'm from. I'm from South Africa. I am living in Washington, D.C., but I'm currently staying in Southern California. Today I'm on Hollywood, so let's sick. So Hollywood was good, uh, spent a couple of hours there, hung out at the sign, hung out downtown a little bit, spoke to some people, a lot of fun. So tonight, 
Um, the pastor of the church that I'm interning in at the moment, he gets an email from Matt Redman the other day asking if he knew of any people that would like to sing in his new album. I think he's going to be doing a live version of one of the songs that he's releasing. He just basically wants a choir of people there. If you don't know, Matt Redman is a worship leader, I think one of the greatest of our generation. I can't sing. I That's that's the funny thing is I just... <laughs> I should not be there, but I might I might just have to mouth mouth things the whole evening before I be that one like tone deaf guy on on Matt Redman's album. So right now we're getting dinner with a bunch of people from the church ready to head over to where the recording's gonna happen. Really cool, really cool place. It's just anti-mall green. Also, check out the shop. So it's basically just a shop with a bunch of beautiful lights. And they've they've like made these like really little minimalist kind of pieces and decided that they're just gonna price this. But the things, these things are so expensive. I just find this so interesting. So this thing for example. Yeah. Because we represent um, uh, some 250 manufacturers. All the pieces that are on that side over there, they're all done by Caleb Seaman, they're all mouth blown by this. So this is all about the artists. So, well, this is about the artist that he was a uh, he was he was appointed as the um, glass blower. Yeah. For the White House till the year two thousand and twenty-five. Like thirteen thousand, twenty-seven thousand. Twenty-seven thousand. Yeah. So I was I was wondering like how how you get away with selling these like such small pieces. For just so much. It's our, it was our clientele. But they, 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 it's just the, the design. Right. It's based on whatever they, whatever their their desire is, as far as what they want to create in their home. It's beautiful. So yeah, it's a, and there, there there are there are artists artisans involved in a yeah. lot of the glass. We just opened up with a new company from Czechoslovakia, and there's they have like a dozen artists, little artists that that design one-off chandeliers like the, for LAX or for like a. They're, they start probably at 500,000 and go up to millions for Dubai and uh, Abu Dhabi and places like that. Yeah. And big hospitality. So yeah. there's little individual pieces of glass that run from like from here all the way to the end of our shop. That, that is amazing. I love that. It's just, it, it's a group of people that have like taken light and they've made it into this, they've made it into art and they're selling it and, and making stuff happen. Okay, just arrived. Uh, excited for that uh, but I figured tonight we could just start and um, give them a welcome but I okay so we've been in and it's a break right now um, I'm just not sure if it's the sort of thing I'm allowed to record in or not because this album has not been released um, only gonna be released in a few months I think there's about a hundred of us there's about a hundred of <laughs> There's about a hundred of us in there, people from all over the city, and they're just getting us to do a bunch of different sounds and um, to do a bunch of samples. I am so singing my loudest to try and get try and get a tiny bit of my voice in there. I mean, millions of people are going to be hearing these songs. It's 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 kind of cool to be part of the voice in that. All right, guys, here we go. Ready? One, two. Hey! We will sing. Let's just run it a cappella a little bit. No, I had one that was different. I had one that was different. That is butter salt. I had a butter salt one. It was like maybe it was fresh. That was probably it was warm. Maybe it was, maybe it was a little fresh. Oh my. So how do you bribe a hundred people from around the city to come and sing in your album? Thank you so much for coming and joining us. Okay, sweet. So all finished up. Um, really amazing evening. Really, really enjoyed that. It's yeah, it's just incredible that. So many people are gonna hear that and be moved by that song and just to be just to be part of that sound. Another good day. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, looking forward to next time, so I'll see you then.